I'm curious to get your thoughts on it. The Biden administration defending that decision, saying they are still focused on security at the border. What is it that you're seeing and hearing in your state, sir? Well, what we're seeing right now is um, uh, an increase in the number of people being apprehended every day. So when I talk to Border Patrol agents, which I did just uh, two days ago, they're slammed right now. We're talking 3,000 to 3,500 people a day being apprehended. We know that there's probably at least one to one of people that are getaways. So you have another 3,000 or so coming into the country and making it in illegally. That's what's happening. That's what's going on because of the, the policies uh, that provide the incentives and the magnet, the draw, if you will, uh, from President Biden's administration. So that's what we're seeing right now at the border real time. We're also seeing a massive increase in unaccompanied minor children, many of whom right now are the age 15 to 17 year old category, which tells us that uh, we're starting to see the reintroduction of MS-13 and other gang members into the country. That's what's happening real time at the border. What are you doing there to, to, uh, to, to combat that, to possibly to beef up security at the borders? What have you heard that your state is doing? Well, so what we have is we have some great county sheriffs um, and we have some great county attorneys along the border. And what they're doing is they are looking, if somebody's coming in illegally and they're committing a state crime, uh, we're, we're seeing prosecutions in those counties. So uh, that's helping uh, a bit, but it, what it does is just like the fence, sometimes it provides these funnel effects. Uh, we're seeing some of that go on. But, but don't forget that right now we don't have, they're not doing county, uh, excuse me, COVID testing in some of these southern uh, border cities and towns uh, and ports of entry. Uh, and you're seeing catch and release is being reinstituted. Uh, and you're, you're seeing this, this influx of people. You're seeing uh, migratory caravans are being formed again. So what we're doing is we're seeing the local sheriffs uh, prosecuting or, or making the arrest and local prosecutors are, are prosecuting. So that's, that's helping a bit. Yeah, that's I, I, quite frankly. I mean, you're you're bringing up something that a lot of folks are concerned about. If they want to travel to certain areas, uh, you're going to have to prove that you are uh, COVID-free. Uh, it is not the same if you are coming across the border. Uh, as a lot of folks scratching their heads on that. Well, I've got you here. I want to ask you about this: uh, the the big bill. Democrats slated to introduce a second. Two trillion dollar stimulus bill that's focusing on infrastructure, ignoring the massive growing debt. What are your thoughts on this? And, and do you have any thoughts of just saying, hey, again, just open the economy up at this point? Well, as you know, that's the best way to get this economy going and, and creating stimulus is to to remove the the uh, these draconian lockdowns that are out there and let people get back to work and let us as free Americans make the choice on whether we accept the risk. That would be helpful. But what you're going to see in this bill things like um, a, a whole hundreds of millions of dollars going to socially disadvantaged farmers and ranchers. Uh, that's odd. Uh, you're going to see uh, literally $750 million leave the country to go to other nations. You're going to see $500 million go to the National Endowment for Arts and the Humanities. You're going to see the imposition of a $15 an hour minimum wage. That's what they're calling a COVID uh, stimulus package. It's not a stimulus package at all. It doesn't even, uh, for the most part, uh, deal with uh, the, the folks that actually need some COVID relief. And that's going to be $2 trillion added to our, our structural deficit for this year. It's going to be added to our national debt. And that's just the way uh, these, uh, the Democrats do it. And uh, they're already talking, by the way, of additional, that this is just, they've said this is just a beginning. They want to do additional money. And they're going to give uh, direct payments and they want to expand that. So you're talking about a lot of money going out there at a time. Nobody's talking about this too much, but if you get some economists to be candid, they'll tell you that's already we're starting to see inflationary pressures because of the amount of money that's been pumped into the economy already. And there's still a trillion dollars from the last bills that haven't been spent yet. All right, Arizona's own Congressman Andy Biggs, good to see you, sir. Thank you for your time. We Thanks. appreciate it.